And another thing we can find from this picture is to get A, real A, what we can do is if I add up X, X and conjugate X, I can have 2A, right? So I can say X plus conjugate X divided by 2 is the real part of X. Okay, many, many things we can talk about. How can you get the imaginary part of X? Okay, if I add this number and this number, then real part would go out. Then I have 2JB. So I said adding up this number and this number and divided by 2J, I will get only imaginary. Huh? So it's interesting. So I have a complex number, and then take a conjugate, and then divide by 2, I will get the real number. Suppose, suppose you have two friends, you have a friend, and who is your conjugate? I don't know what it is. <laughs> If you guys get together, then what you will have? Divide by two. You will have only your physical content. That does not have any mental content. <laughs> <laughs> That's the uh, uh, sort of brief review about complex numbers. And what is complex function then? What, do you, what, what, what is the definition of function? The function is another, another evolutionary concept in the science. Complex number is also an evolutionary concept. And what happened after finding the complex numbers, the fluid mechanics people were so excited because they can analyze, analytically analyze, the two-dimensional flow by using complex <coughs> There are great advance in two-dimensional <coughs> two-dimensional fluid mechanics in early uh, 19th century and late uh, 18th century. What is the function? Function. Function of what? You are function of boyfriend. Maybe you are function of the food. Maybe you are function of Jesus stuff. You are function of the lecture. What does it mean? So your function depends on something else. Right? When you think, when you think. You have to think logically, right? And you're always looking for whether or not there is an equality. Right? You always use this sign in mass, meaning that you want to find out the equality between two quantities. In vibration, what is what is the equality between excitation and the response? That's what we are going to do in this class. Okay? What's the equality between this excitation and the response? How can we make an equality between these two quantities? In other words, we want to find out the relation between these two quantities. Relation between them. Okay? This force and the response. What's the relation? What's the equality? And the relation, what's the relation of these things can be expressed always function. So I said the function of some function. Okay. This sound is function of amplitude. 
good all that is attention. This sound is functional position. This sound is functional way of excitation. Way of excitation, right? It's all function. And this can be complex too. That we call complex function. Okay. In control theory, you will, is there anybody who is a sophomore or senior in this class? Or in the control theory? No? And then I, you. Huh? Huh? You already took the control theory. Yes. You learn about the border diagram, right? Yeah. Uh, no. No? <laughs> Born, born graph? <laughs> I forgot it. You forgot. Okay. No problem. Okay. In control theory, they often use Bode diagram or some prophetic called the Bode diagram. But memorize the French mathematician we call Bode. I think it's fair to call Bode diagram. You know him? Yeah. Is he your relative? <laughs> <laughs> It's nothing but drawing the magnitude of complex function with respect to the imaginary part of complex function. I mean, <coughs> it's not interesting, right, to you? What the hell is this? It doesn't give <coughs> me any money or any exciting stuff. But it is really exciting stuff if you know why they use this. The complex function is another way to look at very complicated problem. Okay, if you have a complicated problem, for example, if you if 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 you have some interest in uh, uh, the uh, uh, making money, for example, you want to make money. That you want to know the relation between making money and uh, 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 making the relation between uh, the how much you make for money and the physical strength for that. Then you want to know it. it's complicated. Right? So you say it surveyed like what, about a thousand people and recording the money he has, and the weight, and the height, and what kind of sports he like, trying to find out the relation. It turns out there is no relation. <laughs> well, when you look at, for example, border diagram, or when you analyze your data using complex number, or complex function, sometimes you can see the hidden, hidden truth. Maybe you want to know the complex function that can show you who is real your girlfriend. That will be very interesting. Not only interesting, you can be a rich man, right? You can sell it to your friend. So the complex, seeing the mechanical vibration in complex numbers,